Good morning, everyone. Yeah, very good morning. Shall we begin the session? In the last class, we have covered or we have started with the session number 11, the regular expressions in the CS script. So these standards or these expressions are a part of the text processing condition that is used in the programming languages, but it is unfortunately not standardized because there are so many languages available like Perl, called Fusion. There are two basic ways for searching this form. One is searching for the symbol patterns in a string of symbols, then replacing the symbol patterns in a string with new symbol patterns. So one is for the searching, one is for the replacing. And there are four RE functions in the CFMX. RE find, RE jx, string, start, return of expression. Then re find no case, then re replace, re replace no case. So there are four re's that is used in the CFMX. That will be generated out, that will be used as a regular expression, so as a return sub expressions. So re ge extreme start return sub expression will be used as a scope, will be used as a, uh, as a, we can say the predefined function that is used in the CFMX and the first two functions used for searching are identical with the exception that the first is a case sensitive another is a case insensitive. So one is a case sensitive that means the capital and the lower are categorized differently and the second one is no case that means there is no case sensitive. If you write capital it's okay, small it's okay. And these functions can take up to four arguments of which only the first two are required over here. And the first argument is that is given is a regular expression containing the condition for identifying a symbol pattern in the text string given as a second required argument. Similarly, when we use for the third and the fourth function that is also used for the replacing, these functions are however three required arguments. One is the string which is to be processed, then a regular expression that identifies the substring and the new substring to replace identical substring. And so we have already discussed or used the second round of expressions that is RF find no case that contains three or four expressions. One is the REGX, string start, return sub expression. For passing the text in the agent 2.cfm template in order to identify the wanted keywords in a text of news. And set, syntax for maintaining the operator's character class with is used with the port 6 that is the portable operating system interface classes. Now let's begin with the next part that is the search engine. So revisiting the search engine that means we are using we are making the search engine building a search engine by means of variety module that is included in the cold fusion and one of the variety modules that was indexing. So this figure explain the content of this function that how it will exist, how it will read out. So this is no more text, read a text, read a word, new word, end of the file. Then there is again the index that contains insert, yes, no, update. So, so yeah, this reads a text, this reads a word, this reads a new file that will be available within the end of the file. These characters are exist, these characters used uh, that, that will be available within the text that will be available within the file. So more texts are also available that reads a text, that reads a word, that reads a new word, that reads the end of the file, that reads yes, index, insert, new, yes, new word, no, yes. So this is a logical diagram for the indexing process in which they will read text, read file, read text, read word, new word. So this is available within the logical diagram. That means it works with, as an indexing. And the result will be an inverted index of the words, each with the frequency that is given of reference in the document collection. Documents containing requested words can then easily be localized by means of the index and based on each word total frequency in the collection and its local frequency in a document, Different kinds of scores of relevance for the individual document can be computed, can be used. And this example, as per this example, we demonstrate how to construct a template which, which reads a text file, passes a text by means of a regular expressions and builds an inverted word index for the document. 
and to make the demonstration complete the application has an introductory form by means of which you can upload your own text file second template that is the parcel.cfm also uploads passes and prints the result from a specified file so there's the introductory index.cfm file is also simple that that that, that means that uh, that is used to make the index.cfm is very simpler by by using the index.cfm the font color is blue Text is the file, then indexing, font will be closed, h3 will be closed. Then CF form, action is parcel.cfm, method is again post. So CF form have a two attributes over here, one is the action, one is the method. The name of the file, how it is given, that is the input type equals to file, name is given as a file name. Then type is given as a submit, value is given as again the submit, so there is a button that created out, which is a submit button. Then CF form will be closed. So the purpose of this template is to permit the users to specify a text file at a client computer for uploading to the server for processing. Next step is to search sequentially through the text string in the file to identify each separate word. Record the identified word in a list if not exists already or increment a frequency counter. Automatically it will increment if it exists and repeat for the new words. And for each existing word, its frequency counter is incremented by the one. And when this document is exhausted, that is done. So words are sorted in a descending order with the most frequent on the top of the list. So most frequent it is available on the top of the list. And in the following template, parcel.cfm, so this is the line that you can specify in the index.cfm that is uploaded. Read into the variable file up as a string value. And its characters counted. Whatever the code that is done, whatever the code process that is used, that is surrounded by the two pairs of CF loop tag one nested in the another and both the functions work as a while loop. The first that is starting at the line 8 and closing at the line 26 is also traversed as many times as it is required to process the identified words. And the second and closing line that is 13 to 20 is also traversed and core of the passing process starts by finding each word. This is done by line 3 in which the position of the end delimiter of the current word is identified. And since the beginning is followed by the end of the delimiter of the previous word, so the same can be extracted, same can be used by the tag of the line 10. And this position of delimiter following the end of the current word is found by means of the function rf find no case, in which the criteria for finding that next word document delimiter is a regular expression appearing as a first argument. And in this template, two POSIX classes, so two, two, uh, two more classes are used, one is the function one is a space. The square bracket will be given must be repeatedly to be correctly interpreted. First matches more punctuation character not appearing as a part of the English words. The next phase used with the result via regular expressions based on the character classes. And with the position at the end of the word and the stack position of the word, the three argument that is needed of the current of the string function. So mid function is also used to extract the words as a value. This determines if the current word already is in the frequency list or not. If the word has already been recorded, the frequency number is increment, incremented in the line 16. And if not, line 25 inserts the word and the next word is restricted and tested against the list of words. So what's over the word, what's over the data that is available, that is tested out, that is used against the list of words. So this is the parcel.cf and cf file. Action is the upload. File field is file up. Destination is the path. File up.txt. Name conflict is the override. So this is the next file. This is the next cf file. So what's over the data? What's over the file you have taken out that is available within the cf file? That includes a path. That includes a variable. That includes a file number. So cf site document size length file up. Cf site chart is one. Yes, frequency structure is just new. 
then C is set, correct password processed is zero. So if it's okay, the character that is processed is zero, then start is also given as a one, struct name is also given as a struct name. And condition is given as a character process less than document size. Position is the RE find no case, function space, file of start, then word, mid, mid of the word is a file of start position, start position and the start. Then hit is given as a zero, counter is given as a zero, then condition is given as a counter less than, uh, less than struct count, frequency structure is given over here and hit is equal to the zero. So th these are the various frequencies, these are the various conditions that already exist for the frequency that is given as a word. So CF set frequency is a struct fine, frequency structured word. So this struct insert frequency structured word has a frequency table, has a data that is very true, that is very, very much true in the list. So CF set hit is one. Then CF will be closed over here. Then CF set counter is counter plus one, looping will be closed. And now if CF is hit is equals to the zero. Yeah. This is given as a struct in insert frequency structure word as a one. Now it is moving to the next position that is start position. It is processed. Next character is processed, then len words. Again there is a one, CF loop will be closed. Then div, align is centered. Uh, yes, we can align the full text also, paragraph also, word also, anything. And it is also given in the H2, that is the heading number 2. And the font color is given as a blue. The font tag will be closed first of all, then H2 tag will be closed and the div will be closed. The next part is the table. And uh, table is aligned at the same time and the word is also given as a one so that we can check the word or we can check the uh, table or we can show the table. Then TR for the table row, TH for the cell. First cell contains the word, second cell contains the frequency. CSA, my list, array to list, struct row. So we are going to sort the value over here that contains the frequency structure, numeric and the descending orders. How we can sort by using the descending orders. Then C of loop, index is given as a word, list is given as a my list. Mm, yes, again there is a looping that starts with the word and listing is given as a my list. Then C of output, TR for the row, TD, again there is a word, TD will be closed. Then next TD, struct find, frequency struct word. TD will be closed, then TR will be closed. After this TR, then the CF output will be closed and the CF loop. After CF loop, the table will be closed. So last part of this template will be given as an ordinary tabulation of the list. Because this is uh, somehow to create a table. The next part is, Yeah, this is the demonstration, this is the output, word frequency list, word and the frequency, expressions 5, regular 5, 4, 4.